with the basics, um, the technology of the uh, LCD uh, displays are <coughs> related to liquid crystals. And the liquid crystal is a very special material that can change the polarization of the light. It's actually liquid. It's really liquid. It's put uh, in between two glasses uh, that we have in every LCD display. We put LCD uh, crystals um, inside and because of special uh, properties, we can change um, the polarization of the light using uh, electrical voltage. Yes, so we, we, we generate electrical field uh, in between uh, these two glasses and then we move uh, the crystals inside and in the same time we move and we change the polarization of the light. So the most basic display, um, LCD display, is a TN that we call twisted pneumatic. Yes, so it's <coughs> it's it's uh, the f the first and the, like oldest uh, technology that we still use nowadays. Uh, twisted pneumatic displays are used in even in a TFT um, displays. So it's the oldest, but used uh, until today and its working principles are the, the simplest. So uh, first of all, we need to have uh, two glasses where we put inside the liquid crystal, as I said already, we need to have electrodes. So of course they are transparent, made usually by ITO um, on the glass. So a special transparent conductive surface that allow us to generate electrical field in between uh, these two glasses, two electrodes. And then, of course, we cannot just change the polarization of the light. It won't be enough to uh, like set on and off pixel. Yes, we need to have first polarized light. Yes. So what what we do uh, additionally to really have a display, we need to add two polarizers. One we add on the bottom, and one we add on the top of the screen. And once we have the polarizer, we have the polarized light. So let's say in this case, we see that the, uh, then the light is being uh, twisted with this uh, crystals when they are in an off state. So this display, we will call it normally white because we see there is no voltage right now applied, but the pixel is light, uh, is white. So, uh, so the, the, the light is being transferred through. So what we know from this picture is that the uh, polarizers are right now in the uh, right angles uh, and in, they are 90 degrees to each other, yes? So first the light goes through the first polarizer, then it turns on the, uh, on the liquid crystals and go out uh, through the other polarizer and we see the pixel. But the, the, the magic happens when we actually apply the voltage, yes? So we have the second image here, and when we apply the voltage, the liquid crystals become organized, uh, and the, the, the light is not, uh, the, the polarization of the light is not changed anymore. It's not switched uh, to, to the like 90 degrees position. So because we have two polarizers in a 90 degrees uh, to each other, the light is going through the first polarizer, but it's not being uh, turned and it's blocked by the other polarizer this time. Yes. So <clears throat> by applying the voltage, we can actually switch on and off pixel. One week, once we can do it, we, we have a display. Yes. So we have a one pixel, then from one pixel, we can, we can build uh, like matrix of the pixels and actually uh, present any image. Uh, what is more important and useful, mm, this control is not only off and on state. We can actually control the states in between. So we will have something like a grayscale. Yes, so we can go from the white pixel to the black pixel with some steps. Uh, they could be like, you know, 16 steps or 256. Usually we do it mm, like, you know, through the bits, so so it will be 16, 256 or more. Uh, for TFT, for example, it will be like millions because we will have mm, uh, 24 bits, for example, which will give us 16 million combinations. 
um, of the uh, different uh, pixel or three pixels RGB pixels uh, brightness. Yes, we, we can we can say so. So uh, this technology actually allow, allows us to have a display like you know working and present some images with the um, grayscale, but in a normal LCD, the monochrome LCD displays, it's usually not used because the technology is not perfect enough. It's a passive technology. There are no transistors connected to the, to the cell itself and controlling the, the brightness with the grayscale is really hard. So usually it's not done here. It's used in the other technologies like TFT that we'll be talking later. But here we only, usually have only on and off state to have the clear image. So let's go further. Once we know how the display work, how the, the cell is working, uh, and we know that the most basic is a twisted pneumatic display, we have some other variants. There are many of them actually, but uh, next I would say that is super popular would be STN. That is super twisted pneumatic. It's the technology that mm, allow us to mm, reduce uh, the voltage uh, to control the, the display, which is very useful when we have uh, battery powered devices or it's also useful because we can connect the display directly to most microcontrollers that work, for example, on 3 volts uh, or even lower voltages, so we don't need a special drivers. And uh, the other um, like very important advantage is it's a better contrast. Uh, so we can see the image more clear. We talked about the contrast in the previous video, so uh, you, you can learn more there. But uh, the contrast, the voltage, and actually it can be faster, yes? So STM can be faster, that means we can refresh it faster. Uh, and the image, if we have, uh, it can even move or be more clear when we change something on the screen. Okay, here we have Another variation of uh, monochrome displays, it's called FSTN or DFSTN, that is like film compensated, super twisted pneumatic. So it's additional layer actually that we add uh, on the glass that is making the display even better. Yes, and what I mean better here is like having the higher contrast than the regular TN or STN. Once we add the film, uh, we can go to the to the more black, let's say, back, uh, background. As you can see here, uh, FSTN display from Winstar company, that is our partner. And the next display is a DFSTN, so it's additional uh, film. So we have double FSTN, so two uh, uh, two FSTN um, layers, and the contrast is even better. As you see, uh, it's more black. Uh, these technologies, of course, uh, are add cost to the display, so the, most, the cheapest one will be TN, then STN will be a little more expensive, and uh, the FSTN and DFSTN are more expensive even. And these technologies, even if they all look very good here, they are not perfect because when we go uh, and we change the angles of a display, then we, we see that the contrast is being lost very fast. So these kind of technologies are useful but in some uh, appli mo in an application where we actually look on the screen straight, uh, most useful, let's say, yes? If we want to see the display from, from the angles, there are other technologies. Now, of course, TFT is one of them or, or OLED uh, technologies that are way better than the monochrome displays. But monochrome displays are very popular still because this technology is well known, established and cheap, yes? So these displays are usually the the lowest cost displays that we can buy uh, on the market. Next screen. Okay, so uh, another variation is HTN, so high twisted pneumatic, something that is a little bit different but similar to STN. It's, it was mainly uh, made for automotive uh, industry and the voltage here is even lower, but actually HDN have the main advantage that is very wide temperature. Uh, so it's just, just an example that we have many of the different options when we choose uh, TN based displays, either STN, FSTN, HDN, and other technologies, ASTN, 
uh, it, it always depends what kind of application we have, what kind of environment, I mean temperatures, what kind of light and, and the colors that we, that we need. Okay.